what is up my coconut bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be covering a ton of easter eggs and basically i wanted to put this video together because i've seen videos of random easter eggs but i do not believe there is an easter egg video that is out there that's going to be covering as many spots as i am about to right here we're going to be jumping right into it now this first one there are these little puzzle brick outlines inside of the kids bedroom and if you guys look at this this is an almost exact replica of the second story of hereford base or basically the ground level and i'll put a picture up for comparison purposes and i believe there's three or four of these laying around in the kids bedroom one of them is going to be right here and as you guys can see that right there where i have the laser on right now is the red container area and you can even see they even have the little section of where the ladder spawns now the second little puzzle up here is going to be on the end of the bed and if you uncover it it's going to be hidden on the bottom now there's also another one on the right hand side by the octopus but we're going to be moving on because you guys get the point now the second spot is going to be two octopus inside of the kids bedroom now what's the plural of octopus octopuses of course all right so when you melee the small octopus it's actually going to make it grow and it turns into a large octopus that one's really sick all right now moving on we're gonna be on border there's a few different ways to get your drone up here on top of the ac ventilation shafts all you got to do is drive your drone all the way to the left hand side of the main lobby now look at this in the outline of the dust on top of the ventilation shaft there's actually going to be three operators now it looks like the one on the right is ash maybe the one in the middle is i don't know fuse maybe possibly Hard, kind of hard to tell and then the one on the left kind of looks like smoke to me but let me know which operators you guys think these are and this actually kind of corresponds with some artwork that's out there now of course if you guys happen to know of any easter eggs that i don't cover in this video then be sure to let me know down below because i believe i covered pretty much all of the main ones i know there's a few posters like on bank that i didn't cover but i feel like those are just really obvious and out there so i wanted to cover more of the detailed ones now moving on to favela now when you make a goal with the soccer ball you're gonna hear from the speaker box somebody cheering for you now this is pretty funny now what we tried to do in a group of friends is play like a rocket league game and we all went onto our drones but unfortunately the soccer balls were in different areas for each of us so unfortunately that didn't work that would have been really funny though Moving on, we're gonna be on canal. And on canal, if you guys are able to get an explosive round on top of this container right here, now listen really closely, there's actually gonna be somebody that yells from the inside of the container. And I'm gonna replay it again right here and he yells out, we're coming. Now moving on, this one's also pretty widely known but I definitely wanna cover it to be thorough. We are going to be on Skyscraper, and there are going to be a ton of different games all made from Ubisoft's development team. There's going to be Assassin's Creed. I believe there's a Watch Dogs, a Rainbow Six Siege. I'm going to zoom in a little bit right here. You guys will be able to see, oh yeah, Far Cry right there. we got some Assassin's Creed Unity. It even fully says that on the left-hand side right there. All right, now moving on, we're gonna be on the second Easter egg on Skyscraper. Now all of these samurais have these outfits, but this one is very special, and that is because he actually has an Assassin's Creed Unity emblem on his belt. Now we're gonna give him a quick buff right there. There you go, and let's move on. So our next series of Easter eggs are gonna be all coming from paintings on Bartlett University. This first one is gonna be a map outline of Chalet and there's going to be so many different maps and a lot of people don't realize but this one is actually going to be on favela down here in the exit street spawn you can see the correlating corner of the house right here and that's pretty funny now this next one is actually going to be on the existing map that we are on on bartlett going to be from this point of view from the main gate i thought that was pretty funny how they just straight up have a picture of their own map now over here we have a picture coming from the front of Bartlett University but that's just from the main entrance so we're not going to show exactly where that one is 
This one right here is gonna be on the corner of border, and I'm gonna show you exactly where this one is. This one's a little bit tricky, but if you look right here, that's gonna be that same watchtower. And then if you come around the corner, that picture was actually from before they built the wall, hashtag Donald Trump. But there you go, the cement wall is not there. Now moving directly to the left, we're gonna be on consulate actually, and this is gonna be from the riot barricade spawn right there on the main gate. So pretty clever tricks that Ubisoft was thrown in there. And who knows, maybe on the next update, they'll throw in a little Easter egg for the next map that's gonna come out. We'll have to keep an eye out on that one. Now moving on to our next spot, we're going to be on Theme Park and this one's pretty widely known among the Reddit community because this is kind of the origin story of how this one came about. Now if you come into the Theme Park, into the arcade entrance, you're going to see all these arcade machines but this one actually stands out in particular, it's an actual Rainbow Six Siege arcade machine. Now the story behind this is that Boston Bear Jew, who is a former avid Rainbow Six Siege player in the Xbox community, ended up passing away on March 21st, 2017. Now, a really sad story because after his passing, a uh, Reddit user and very close friend to Boston Bear Jew, King Swank actually ended up contacting the Rainbow Six Siege community manager Epi over on Twitter and Epi replied that he would try to honor his friend. Now little did they know, it ended up five months later Ubisoft development team were able to incorporate Boston Bear Jew into the game as a way of honoring his memory. Really really cool that they were able to do this and I believe the reddit post is still up you can go find that over on reddit I'll link that down below in the description that's gonna wrap it up for this video And of course if you guys know of any more siege easter egg spots, let me know down below I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Love you all peace